Hello everyone, welcome back to day number three of building 10x Fire First Country Battle Packs into a cannon. So, so far I have the sides and today I just added the legs from day one. I didn't completely dismantle them, I kept them for a few days. And we still have them all on the build and I think they look very good. They look a little spider-like right now. I'm going to see if how accurate this is of a design and then we'll go from there. But this cannon is going to be pretty sized really well if it all goes to plan we still have tons of parts left and i think this is going to look really good at the end of the build but let's get into today's build okay next up for the build which they look like a lot like crabs right now we have the legs all built up i just beefed them out a bit and i designed them a little bit so they're even on both sides the bottom ones do look a little thin which i might go back and fix later but for now i'm gonna leave it and we have the two halves that can connect now we just need to work on the body which we'll do right now now we have two options for this. We have the beefy bods, we have the beefy legs with the six wide, or we can do four, which I'll show you what that looks like right now. This is what four looks like, and it definitely looks a lot more inside, which is not bad. This is what the set is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be more condensed, but it just depends on whether I want it wider or thinner. That is the biggest problem and how big I want the cannon. I want this cannon to be pretty damn big. But we'll see. I'm going to think this through a little bit, and I'll get back to you in a second once I think it through. After looking at some concept art and art of the vehicle itself, I'm going to be choosing the thinner model because it looks more accurate, and I can make a better cannon with the thinner model itself, so we will do that. Okay, coming back here, we made a little connection point to it. It's not very sturdy right now, but it definitely works, and it's not too bad. We'll make the bottom better in a little bit. For now, that's not too bad. Okay, to end the day, I made a cannon, which is kind of bad. I'm probably going to replace it. Um, and then the base, which the base is now very sturdy, um, except I had to add a little suspension to the bottom, which gets me to my next point. I'm thinking that I should add different pieces from different builds to make this look more complete. And I think that's the way I'm going to go with this, but it's only going to be a few pieces. I'm going to try to make a cannon build, but banking a cannon with the pieces here is really difficult with what I'm given. This is the best I was able to do to make it look good because already that that's an illegal building technique because it doesn't i don't know actually you know that lines up properly but if you do it too if you do them up here and then connect them it's an illegal building technique and it just breaks the pieces and i'd rather not <clears throat> but we have this and i made it a pretty seamless connection from the side to have the chair where the person sits and then it's over by one stud which I thought was fine because of the person sitting in the chair. So it won't be too bad. But it is definitely over by one stud, which is fine. But yeah, see, look, it's already breaking just by pressing down on it with the suspensions too. That's the biggest reason why I'm getting extra parts. Because if you see there, it's already breaking. That's the only reason. It's for support and that's it. I think that should be okay. And let me know in the comments if it's not. But yeah, that'll end day number three. Come back tomorrow for day number four.